Hi everyone. Our Bible lesson that we're learning about today is about how Mary showed her love for Jesus. And our lesson is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 26 verses 6 through 13 and John 12 verses 1 through 11. Well, in those in the Bible it talks about a man named Simon. And Simon was a man who had leprosy. And leprosy was a very contagious disease at the, at that time. And people used to have to go away from their families and live far away from them because it was they could get it very easily. Well, Jesus had met Simon and he healed him. And Simon was so, so happy because he could go back home to his town in Bethany. So Simon did that and he went back to his town and he wanted to have a great big dinner for Jesus and for everyone. So Jesus came to that dinner and at that dinner, there were the disciples and two sisters named Mary and Martha. Now Martha, she was a sister and she was so busy cleaning, cleaning and sweeping the house and cooking and cooking and just getting things all ready for Jesus to come. Well, Jesus finally got there and Mary, her sister, she sat and she listened to Jesus and she heard all of his lessons that he had to tell her. And Martha came to Jesus and said, Jesus, can't you see? I'm doing all of this work and my sister Mary is just sitting there. And Jesus just, just said, Martha, Martha, you need to be more like your sister and slow down and just listen. So I would imagine that Martha did feel a little bad about that then. But Mary felt felt bad in her heart a little bit. She knew that she was a sinner and she had cried some tears because she was so sad. And she used those tears to help wash Jesus' feet and she used her hair to dry his feet. So she cleaned his feet with tears. But she heard some of the people talking that they wanted to make Jesus their king and she was kind of excited about that. So she thought, I will go get give him my gift now. And she got this big, this little jar of a perfume called Nard. And it was a type of perfume that when it was open, it would just fill the air in the room. So she did. She broke that bottle of Nard, that jar, and she poured some on Jesus' head and some on his feet. And the fragrance just filled the room. And she was anointing Jesus. Soon it would be his time and he would die on the cross for our sins. And Jesus knew that. Well, his one disciple, Judas, Judas said to Jesus, Jesus, that perfume is so expensive. We could have sold that perfume and we could have fed the hungry people. And Jesus knew Judas's heart. He knew he was a thief. He knew that he would probably take that money and use it on himself and not on the poor. And Jesus said to Judas, Judas, you will always have the poor with you. You won't have me with you always. I will soon have to go back to be with my father in heaven. What Mary has done, she has done something very beautiful. She is getting me ready for that time when I do need to go back. And she will be remembered throughout all time for this. So what can we learn from Mary and Martha? Maybe sometimes we just need to slow down and we need to open our Bibles and Look at the words that, that God has written down for us. He has so much love for us that he wants us to know that he, he sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. That so one day we can be with him. And that can be of great comfort and peace to us all the time. Let Can you fold your hands with me and let us pray. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for the gift that you sent to us, your son, Jesus. We ask that you please be with us, and we thank you for the joys that you give us each day and every blessing that comes our way. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Thank you.